So today I would like to give the presentation on fast Fourier transform. So fast Fourier transform, it is not actually it is not a transform. So actually it is not a transform. It is the algorithm to convert the continuous frequency spectrum into discrete frequency spectrum. Okay, actually here we need to discuss about DTFT also. So discrete time Fourier transform. So the it is the Fourier transform of it is the Fourier transform of discrete signal x of n. Okay, so but in frequency domain the nature of the frequency spectrum is this continuous in nature. That is x of k x of e power j omega. The frequency spectrum of DTF is in nature of continuous continuous in nature. So the spectrum cannot be processed by the DSP processor because it is continuous spectrum. So we need to convert it into discrete spectrum. The continuous spectrum is again converted into discrete spectrum. That is x of k using sampling. Using sampling. So the sample version of DTFT. The sample. Sample version of DTFT. DTFT is FFT. Fast Fourier transform. So that's why it is not a transform. It is the algorithm to get the Discrete frequency spectrum. You get the discrete frequency spectrum. So FFT. So FFT is the algorithm. So has two types. So one is DAT FFT algorithm and DAF FFT algorithm. Dimensional time frequency FFT algorithm and dimensional frequency FFT algorithm. Dimensional time and dimensional frequency. So there are two types of FFT algorithms. So using DAF, DAT FFT algorithm and DAF FFT algorithm, so we will find the DFT. We will find the DFT. Discrete Fourier transform. Okay. So discrete Fourier transform is the we uh, find the DFT using FFT algorithm. So using two approaches, one is DAT FFT algorithm and second one is DAF FFT algorithm. So we will see one by one. So first one is DAF FFT algorithm. DAT FFT algorithm. So in this algorithm. So the steps to find the DFT, to find the DFT of a given sequence. Okay. So first one is the number of samples. The algorithm. The number of samples. The number of samples are m equal to two power m. Here m is the number of samples. So the number of m is the number of samples. And m is the stage numbers. M is stage stage numbers. And second step is input sequence is bit shuffled through input sequence. Input sequence is shuffled through shuffled through. Bit reversal. Input sequence is bit shuffled, uh, shuffled through bit reversal. So that is, so we will take the binary numbers, binary form. Binary binary number. So that is, for example, zero 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 one zero one zero zero one one. One zero zero 
101110111 for three bit number so corresponding decimal number so decimal number is zero so uh, bit reversal form of binary bit reversal form of binary so that is the first position the, the bit present in first position so which is shifted to last one that is 0 0 0 now 1 0 0 just to mirror image then 0 1 0 1 1 0 then 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 1 1 1 so this is the order of the binary number so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so coming to bit reversal form the number is 0 4 2 6 1 3 sorry 1 5 3 7 okay so this is the order so this is the order of the bit reversal for the given binary number okay 0 to 7 would consider me 3 bit binary number okay so here the binary number order is 0 to 7 here the bit reversal order is 0, 4, 2, 6, 1, 5, 3, 7. so that is the order so using this order so we will find the DFT I mean uh, DIT FFT algorithm DIT FFT algorithm okay so that is input sequence is in the order of bit reversal form okay and third one is the number of stages number of stages required number of stages required that is n by 2 butterflies n by 2 butterflies okay so for example n equal to 8 so 8 by 2 4 butterflies each stage each stage contains n by 2 butterflies so then each stage has The number of stages, the number of stages required is the number of stages required. The number of stages required are m equal to as for the step one, m equal to log n base two. So for example here m equal to eight, so that is log eight base two that becomes log 2 power 3 base 2 that equal to 3 into log 2 base 2 that is 1 that is 1 into 3 3 stages required for 8 point DFT ok then fifth one the inputs and outputs are separated by the inputs and outputs are separated by 2 power inputs and outputs are separated by 2 power m minus 1 samples for each stage inputs and outputs are separated by 2 power small m minus 1 samples for each stage ok so here small m is the stage index stage index means for first stage m equal to 1 for second stage m equal to 2 for third stage m equal to 3 so like that stage index stage number so then second one is the number of complex multiplication operations required number of complex multiplication operations required multiplication operations are required on n by 2 log n base 2 n by 2 log n base 2 and the number of Point, the number of complex addition operations required addition operations required are n log n base 2 n log n base 2 so then few more steps are there so that is 8 1 
the twiddle factor exponent form. Twiddle factor, twiddle factor exponent, twiddle factor exponent is given by k equal to m t by 2 power m here t equal to 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on 2 power m minus 1 minus 1 so here k is the twiddle factor exponent value and n is the number of samples then t is the variable which is existing from 0 to 2 power maximum value is 2 power m minus 1 minus 1 ok divided by 2 power m m is the stage index ok so the ninth one the exponent repeat factor the exponent the exponent repeat factor ERF ERF is given by so 2 power capital M minus small m so here capital M is the number of stages total number of stages and the small m is the stage index means current stage number current stage number so this is the procedure for DIT FFT algorithm for calculating DFT for any DFT ok so the next one is decimation in frequency FFT algorithm decimation in frequency FFT algorithm DAF FFT algorithm okay. so in this first step the steps required to find the uh, eight, uh, to find the any point DFT using DAF FFT algorithm. Okay. So, first one is the number of samples. The number of samples are 2 power, sorry, n equal to 2 power capital N. Okay, as was the same as DAT FFT algorithm. And second one is input sequence is in the order of input sequence input sequence is in the order of input sequence order is natural and output sequence order is output sequence order is bit reversal bit reversal so uh, compared to DAF, uh, DAT effect algorithm so this is reverse process then third step is as is the number of stages the number of stages for each uh, for each particular that is n by 2 butterflies and fourth one is the number of stages required the number of stages required the number of stages required are m equal to log n base 2 as per the uh, step 1 so for this m equal to log m equal to root of m so if you take the logarithm on both sides so then m equal to log n base 2 m equal to log n base 2 so that is the total number of stages required in each stage ok total number of uh, stages required for the uh, structure then fifth one is inputs and outputs are separated by inputs and outputs are separated by 2 power capital M minus small m 2 power capital M minus small m here capital M is the total number of stages and the small m is the stage index ok so whereas in DIT FFT algorithm 
So the number of inputs and outputs are separated by 2 power small m minus 1. So that is the difference. Then sixth one is complex addition operations and multiplication operations required. Complex addition operations and multiplication operations required. Complex addition operations required. Complex uh, multiplication operations required. Required of m log n, m by 2 log n base 2, and the complex addition operations required. Addition operations. Additions required m log n base 2 then exponent quickly pack and quickly pack quickly factor exponent value quickly factor exponent value k equal to m t by 2 power capital M minus small m plus 1 here t value is existing from 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on 2 power small m, 2 power capital M minus small m minus 1 so then next one is uh, in fact exponent exponent repeat factor exponent Repeat factor ERF that is given by 2 power capital M minus small m or 2 power, cap, uh, 2 power m minus 1 samples. Okay. So these are the steps to design uh, DAT FFT algorithm and DAF FFT algorithm. Yeah, I'm going to